Hi everybody, welcome and welcome back to my channel. This is Shagnik Dutta. I'm a third professional MBBS student at Bardwan Medical College and Hospital West Bengal. In this video, I want to deal with another subject of second year that is pharmacology. Pharmacology is nothing but the study of drugs, the different kinds of medications that are used for different kinds of ailments. Till now, from our first year of MBBS, we have read about anatomy, physiology and biochemistry, which basically deals with the basic concepts and normal working of the human body nothing abnormal we have actually read and dealt with in our first year subjects uh, but from our second year we start dealing with the different kinds of ailments the different causative agents in microbiology the different pathological aspects of the diseases in pathology and we also study about the treatments in the subject of pharmacology so pharmacology is a subject which is very important and pharmacology is that very sweet subject of the particular year which most of the students actually like to study about like to read about because the topics of pharmacology are limited are very easy to remember and very easy to deal with and this subject is actually very scoring and that is why this subject becomes a very sweet subject of every other medical student in second year of mbbs I have previously made a video on how to deal with microbiology in second year of MBBS and you guys have showed so much love to that video. Thank you for that. And in the comment sections of the video, you have actually asked for similar guidance for the other two subjects of second year that is pharmacology and pathology. So is this video. In this video, we'll be dealing with pharmacology in three different sections. In section one, we'll be talking about the different resources that you should refer to for your pharmacology subject. In the second section, we'll be talking about the different types of questions and topics that are very important for the subject of pharmacology. And number three, in the third section, we'll be talking about how you should actually approach towards practicing questions, towards mastering the questions of pharmacology. So without much ado, let us get into the video. So in the very first section, we shall be dealing with the different resources that you should use for your pharmacology subject. In my previous video of different resources of second year of MBBS, I have talked about three different resources for pharmacology. Number one is the book of Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by Dr. K.D. Tripathi. Secondly, I have talked about a book called a Shanbag. And number three, I have talked about the notes by Dr. G.R.G. Sir. Now, in this video, particularly while talking about pharmacology, I want to really refer to two of the most important resources for this subject. And that is number one is the same book called as the Essentials of Medical Pharmacology by Dr. K.D. Tripathi. And secondly, I want to talk about the notes by Dr. G.R.G. Sir. Let me first talk about this book called as K.D. Tripathi. Now, K.D. Tripathi is that gold standard book which is being used by every other medical student in every other medical college of India. And this book is genuinely very good because it deals with every chapter from the basics to the highest level possible, which is required for the MBBS curriculum. Moreover, few of the topics are very well written and very well described in this book called as medical pharmacology few topics like the management of diseases and the mechanisms of actions are very well explained in this book so if you really need to study a book for pharmacology then this shall be the book you should refer to this book for your preparation now secondly when i need to talk about the notes Dr. G.R.G. Sir's note shall be the go-to notes. At this point, what I actually want to clarify is you can refer to any teacher's notes, whosoever it might be, but notes are very important for the subject of pharmacology. And why I say that is because pharmacology is a very easy subject if read in a proper way, in a well-structured method. Pharmacology becomes way easier if you actually study the subject with the help of mnemonics and Dr. G.R.G. said actually make some great mnemonics which are very easy to understand. But if you have got your own mnemonics or any other teacher's mnemonics which makes it very easier for you to remember and understand then refer to that for sure. But what I really want to say is pharmacology is a subject 
which is very directly asked you will be asked about the names of the medications the names of the drugs you will be asked about the doses of the medications you will be asked about the route of administration of those drugs or you will be asked about the mechanism of actions and the side effects of the drugs whether some drug are indicated in a particular condition or contraindicated that can be asked as well so remembering them is the toughest job in this subject and that becomes easier if you remember it with the help of mnemonics so mnemonics becomes a go to method of studying for the subject of pharmacology in other subjects you just need to remember mnemonics for particular topics but the entire subject of pharmacology can be remembered with the help of mnemonics so mnemonics are great tools to study pharmacology and that is why i actually refer to the notes more as compared to reading books because if you have got your general ideas of physiology and biochemistry ready you do not need to read books in its entirety for the subject of pharmacology rather read about the core topics of pharmacology which are even more important for the subject of pharmacology now coming to the second section of this video talking about the different topics which are actually asked for the subject of pharmacology number 1 are the drugs what are drugs what are the different drugs used for different kinds of ailments these become very important these are the core things that needs to be remembered for the subject of pharmacology pharmacology is all about drugs second are the side effects of drugs what are the different kinds of side effects for each drugs what are the conditions where each drug is indicated and where they are absolutely contraindicated these becomes the topic of remembrance topic of importance third which is even more important is the mechanism of actions now mechanism of action of drug is something very intellectual to remember if you just study it once with proper concentration it becomes very easy for you to actually understand the methods of mechanisms of actions of different drugs and number 4 what is being asked in the subject of pharmacology are different regimens of administration of different drugs for particular diseases like tuberculosis and leprosy and at times a few um, even not so important topics are asked in different parts of the country for example if i just talk about the diseases like kala azar which are more prevalent in the eastern part of the country if you are from a medical college situated in the eastern part of the country you might be asked about the diseases like kala azar and its treatment which is not much prevalent in the other parts of the country so situation wise your questions may vary but the core topics are the rest four of them now talking about the third section is how should you practice the questions previously when i had talked about the subject of microbiology i had said that it is more important to practice subjective questions than objective ones for the subject of microbiology but for this case of pharmacology i would actually recommend you to do the opposite practice and prepare objective type questions more as compared to the subjective ones and the reason is simple as i just said that pharmacology is a subject of mnemonics you need to remember specific topics specific drugs specific treatments and solutions which can be easily remembered after multiple practices of objective type questions because in objective type questions you would be directly asked about the specific drugs their solutions and their regimens maybe so that is what is actually being asked in the subjective type of questions as well so it is very important that if you actually prepare questions which are more related to the objective ones then it becomes very easy for you to remember the subject in its entirety after completion of these objective types of questions you should move towards the completion of subjective types of questions and that would become much easier for you to comprehend the entire subject of pharmacology so with this we come to an end of this video where i have talked about the different aspects of the subject of pharmacology what are the different resources that you should 
uh, referred to for the subject of pharmacology what are the different types of questions and topics that are asked for the subject of pharmacology and how should you actually practice and approach the questions apart from this I have given a document in the description box and in the first pinned comment where you can actually go and refer to for the different important topics for the subject of pharmacology. If you really like this video, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel and share this video with whomever might find it helpful as well. Thank you. See you in the next one.